Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome all of you, delegates and government representatives for, from more than 150 countries to the United Arab Emirates. This event was never to take place in this part of the world if there wasn't a support from the international community to the great efforts that countries like the United Arab Emirates are doing in their, in their transformation toward cleaner and more adverse forms of energy. This is one of the oldest, the oldest, if not the oldest, government gathering focusing on finding solutions to the energy issues around the world. It started in 1924, and for more than 95 years, it has been a platform where governments and companies are discussing the future solutions to take care of some of the most challenging issues facing humanity and planet Earth. In this version of the World Energy Congress, we have tried our best to deliver something different, to, develop, to deliver a platform of inclusiveness where we bring not only policy makers and government representatives, but also to bring companies who are investing in the solutions of tomorrow. We are as well bringing startups from all over the world to share their ideas under this platform. The government of Abu Dhabi through the wise leadership of His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed have been giving the capital Abu Dhabi as a platform for discussion and for finding solutions in the energy sector. So with all pride, we can call it the capital of the world energy. Together with the Dutch electricity company, we screened the top 100 startups around the world, and we brought them here to Abu Dhabi to share their ideas. We are bringing as well investors to look at those future ideas which could transform the way we conduct our business. So I would encourage everyone to listen and try to help those young people delivering solutions for the future. The leadership in the United Arab Emirates always believes in the young people. So we also brought a platform for the youth to discuss and engage with the best minds of the world to contribute to the solutions of tomorrow. We have a strategy to share with the rest of the world. The United Arab Emirates have delivered the first long-term energy strategy in the region, and I would say in the world. That includes a huge contribution from cleaner forms of energy. Our our UAE energy strategy is calling for 50% contribution from clean forms of energy, which would include renewable energy and nuclear. And you don't see so often a country that is responsible for supplying oil and gas to the world taking such bold strategy. We will continue 
our efforts as a reliable supplier of hydrocarbon to the world. But our leadership wants us to do it in a way that protects the environment, in a way where we, together with our national oil company and the rest of the stakeholders, reduce the carbon footprint by 70% in the year 2050. So that's quite a commitment that we would like to share with the rest of the world. We have invested in renewable energy and the lessons that we learned, it's worth it. And we are encouraging all of the, comp all of the countries to try diversifying their energy mix to include the cleaner forms of energy. We would like this platform not to be a platform we, or we, where governments are only talking. We would like this platform to be a platform where solutions are created and where opportunities are given to those entrepreneurs who, who hopefully will make planet Earth a place for generations and generations to, to prosper. We inherited a legacy from our founding father, His Highness Late Sheikh Zayed, where prosperity and sharing prosperity with the rest of the world is in the DNA of this nation. I wish you all a pleasant and enjoyable discussion, and I look forward to some valuable recommendations from all of you that we can take to the 25th Energy, World Energy Congress. Thank you very much.